Hey guys, welcome to my first how-to video. We are going to be getting scratches out of a Lucite chair. If you come closer, um, almost all vintage pieces of plastic furniture will have scratches. And this one, I have six of these chairs and I just did one. I'm going to show you how I did it. This one's got some bad ones back here. Can you move in a little bit? The seat is going to have some, but the worst of it was underneath because they never put, whoever owned these, they're very heavy, whoever owned these did not put pads on the bottom. So, if you come close, you'll see how scratched up this is. And I'm going to show you how to get this much, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be much, much better like 97 percent better so first thing i'm doing i'm actually using three different steps that are known to work um i bought this sandpaper at an auto supply this is 400 grit 600 grit 1000 grit 2000 grit i'm cutting pretty small pieces of it off like this this is the, i'm actually starting with 400 yeah and folding it like that and I'm doing that with each one, and we're going to wet sand. But because these scratches are so bad on the bottom, I'm going to start with 400. If they're not that bad, you don't have to start with 400. You can start with 600. All right, so I keep a little thing of water here, dip the sandpaper in. What's even easier is to spray the thing at the bottom of the chair with water. And then use your wet sandpaper. Now for 400, I'm going straight either way, side to side first. Don't do a circle. Don't do circular motion first. And you should do this pretty long. You want to get these scratches out. So I'm going, I'm kind of counting like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I usually count to 10 in each spot. Make sure you do the edges more because when you go long, you actually don't go all the way to the edge. So start, a lot of times I start with those edges. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five. I should have the paper turned this way. So this step is the biggest one to getting rid of this amount of scratches is this 400 grit. So after I get done this section, this you know side, I'm gonna wipe this stuff off and we'll see what these scratches look like. And we might have to do it again. Alright, so we wipe this off and it's gonna look horrible. But what you wanna see is did you get a lot of the deep scratches off? And I can see right away that there still are some deep scratches. I sanded for about close to 10 minutes. Um, not as bad as some people who have said, you know, given other instructional videos on this. And one of them said they did it for four hours on that first sanding. And that's crazy. So. I wanted to show you guys a different way. Some of these are really deep, so I'm going to go one more time with this, this 400 and I might do it on the opposite grain. I, last time I went this way. So this has now been sanded with 400. Mostly the big scratches are out. There's still some, but I'm hoping on these next two steps of sanding and uh, two more steps of cream polish. That maybe they'll come out. So with these smaller pieces, I'm folding them in three just so I can get an extra, just some extra space out of them. So I use this first, for whatever reason I flip it, use this, and the last one I use the middle. Doesn't really matter why. I don't know why. So now we're moving up to 600. And the 600 we're going to do in a circular motion. And your arm will get tired, so switch hands. And this is one of the hardest things to do is to do a circular motion with your left hand, at least for me it is. Like, I feel really uncoordinated doing this. But 
as long as your last time around is with your right hand, right arm, um, it should be fine. But you, your arms will get tired doing this. So, and again, the edges you want to maybe get first with your right, and just really get up to the edge because that's hard to be right there. So I'm using the same towel for everyone. I know for all these steps and directions will say use a clean lint free cloth but I use a fluffy towel just to dry this stuff off so again all you're gonna see here is it looking very cloudy and you're gonna be thinking to yourself did I just ruin this cool chair but you didn't so that was 600 in a circular motion now we're gonna move to a thousand in a back and forth motion. Uh, this time, instead of going this way, I'm going to go this way. Now we're on our last stage of sandpaper. This is the 2000 grit. Um, the company is called Finish First. It's good stuff. It lasts a long time. It doesn't break while it's wet. Um, so remember, this furniture is 50 years old. These, these chairs are from the 70s. Um, for the 2000 grid, I'm doing circular motions again. And there's going to be scratches in a 50-year-old ch plastic chair, especially clear plastic. It's a lot easier to polish and remove scratches from um, plastic chairs that are not clear. So these are the hardest to deal with. But you will see how good this ends up looking. All right, so we're done with the sandpaper. We did 400, 600, 1,000, 2,000 grit. Now, these this Nova system is uh, is a is a great thing, and a lot of people use this. Strangely, you start with three, then you go to two, and you end with one, and uh, nobody knows why. So with that, I use a lint-free cloth and. You shake it, start with three. Don't want to start with one. I'm sorry, I can't. And I just sort of splash on, if you want to zoom in here a little. I sort of just go, like, put it around. I don't want to waste it because I have six of these chairs to do. And um, so just sort of randomly on here. And it does say to do this one in a back and forth motion. And number two, cream, polish, we do in a circular motion. So just to spread the stuff around, I just go like that first, just to make sure I have it everywhere. And then I start back and forth motion. So again, I just I just count. I don't go crazy on this because it's a 50 year old chair. It's gonna have some scratches. If it doesn't, you might as well just, if you don't want that, you might as well just go out and find brand new loose side chairs. But basically I go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you get the idea. So Novus number two, this is the fine scratch remover. Novus three was the heavy scratch remover. Um, so you can start to see this is becoming a little more Lucite-like. And this is more liquidy. It still has an abrasive in it when you wipe it on. And this is the very bottom of the chair, so I am not completely concerned with going back, which I could. There's still some deeper scratches here or there. I could go back and do it again, but I'm not going to. We're using the number two in a circular motion. And again, I'm kind of counting to ten on each spot. And after this, we're actually moving to a different company and a different product that's for headlights. Okay, 
So this is Meguiar's heavy duty headlight restoration kit. And I'm not using the early stages of this, which it, it did all right on another test that I, that I tried, but this is how I'm doing it. What I am using is their Plastex polish, which is one of the last steps with this headlight restoration. And what's cool is it comes with this buffing pad to put in your drill. I'm using a drill that plugs in, so you're not wasting your battery while this thing's spinning, which is what you'll find with most scrub brushes in a drill. So I'm trying to keep it fluffy. And they say to put a nickel-sized amount of cream. It's a big nickel. So um, we went down to 2000, then we did the number three. And we did the number two, and I wiped that off. So now this is where we are. We're to this guy. And basically the same thing. I want to just try to get this thing around. I start in the middle. And I around. So I do an X here. Just to spread it around. And then I crack on smaller. Essentially, I'm going to do that back and forth this way, and then I'm going to go this way. I tend to go slower. Right there, I was doing something to catch up with myself on that curve. Um, and then, I'll show you the next step. Alright, so I'm wiping off the Meguiar's Plast X Polish. This step, I find, is the most revealing and the closest it comes to being finished which is almost miracle-like when you get down to this, that you would just scratched up this whole thing with 400 grit sandpaper. And within the hour, you are, you know, looking pretty clear. Now, the reason this wouldn't look that clear right now is because this side is still really scratched up. So this bottom was really bad because this scratched up all across the floor, bare on the floor. And this, I guess, from people's shoes. And no, I don't know why that is. Because I'm not facing that way. Anyway, but this is so far I've seen really bad um, on the other chairs. So next, we're doing this side, which should make this look best. But the next and final step is Novus number one. And this is almost just like a polish. Um, not a polish, but more of a plastic cleaner that. Once this is done, this is something that you'll want to use just to keep your plastic furniture or plastic anything um, looking good. And you never use ammonia, so you never use Windex on Lucite. So this is a, a cleaner, but what do they call it? So plastic clean and shine, anti-fog, anti-static, dust repellent big part here this is the final the final final step and the big part is to use the lint free cloth on this one where you're going to really rub and rub because there's going to be just like little residue on here from all the steps and all the creams and um, the stuff that came up from sanding it and in a second You'll see the finished product. Okay, so now I've done the inside of the base and the outside. You'll see, like I said, there's still some, a few of the major scratches that were there. The one thing about this type of chair is it is going to be sitting on the floor. So, as you can see, it's not that noticeable down here. But again, you really have to rub this to get the all the cream off but here's the back which looks great 
this had a huge scratch in here and something else up top and I also did the seat which had scratches in it from I'm sure people sitting in it with keys in their pockets and the little rivets in your jeans and this is the final product So that's our finished product. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. So click like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next how-to video.